It said Earth will run out of vital resources like zinc and phosphorus within our lifetimes. This man thinks we can leave our planet to go and get them. Every boy, at least every boy I know, has at some point dreamt about building a rocket and going to space. I mean, when you're a kid, everyone wants to be an astronaut, right? And, and now we just happen to live in a time where it's actually possible, where if you have the skills and you have the will, you can actually build your own rocket and go to space. How much does it cost you to send rockets up into space? A rocket like the Heat 2X, the material cost on that was about 250,000 Danish kroner. That's, uh, if you divide it by 10, you have it in pounds. But I mean, that's not so expensive, right? Well, do you know what? I, I was expecting it to be a lot more. Well, I mean, right now, everyone can build their own rocket because what was cutting edge in the 50s, you can go down now and buy in your local hardware store because of the development of smartphones. In your phone, you have a GPS, you have a gyroscope, so you can play your racing car game or whatever. And that technology is actually the same that we use to guide our rocket. So if it hadn't been for the development of the smartphones, we wouldn't have been, a been able to do this. So if you have the skill, if you have your, the will, everyone can go to space. How did you fund your projects to space? We are totally non-profit. Everyone at Copenhagen Suburbs was working for free. Everything we can, we share it. Because we hope that the that, that, that work we do, at some point, some, somebody else will build on top of this and, and do something even cooler. Three, two, one. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? DIY rockets all over the world going up into space. What do the big guys think of the little guys? Actually, we had a visit from uh, from NASA just a few weeks ago, and they were very impressed. And actually, when we had our, our last engine test, uh, we got an email from some guys at NASA saying, hey guys, we are 200 people sitting in an auditorium watching your live stream, and good luck, and, and we would look forward to see what happens. How do we fund going to space, then? Well, I think that the tourism way is not the, the obvious way to go right now. But mining asteroids, for example, is a feasible way because there are money to be made there. There are minerals that to be harvested that, that companies can, can use down here. The consumption rate that, that humanity has on metals, especially the rare earth metals that are used for electronics, we will run out at some point. So we need to look beyond earth and find somewhere where we can actually get a hold of these materials. So I always thought asteroids were gonna wipe us out, but are they gonna save the planet? It's a two-edged sword, right? Asteroids could actually wipe us out if we are unlucky, but they can also not maybe be the savior of our planet, but at least they can be a very, very important contributing factor to ensure that we can continue our te technological development. Is space a bit like the Wild West at the moment? Are you all up there fighting it out to try and own asteroids and see where you can go? We all own space. I'm, I'm sure that, that, that someone eventually will try to, to to claim it, but I, but I mean, it's not, a, it's not a country, it's not a land, it's not something that you, that you can own, so I guess. Space is for all mankind. Mads, it's the final frontier. Get yourself a space suit and get yourself up there. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs>